There's never been a better time to be a billionaire in America. The ultra-wealthy have seen their fortunes skyrocket. The collective wealth of the top two, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, has risen by $140 billion so far this year. Yet they and other billionaires pay no tax on those gains. Everybody in this country that has been blessed and prospered should pay a patriotic tax. That inequity can be chalked up to the fact that assets are not considered income until they're sold. Billionaires can pay themselves a relatively small salary and simply borrow against their immense wealth on paper to live large and largely tax-free. You might be able to borrow money from your local bank uh, and spend that to live a lavish lifestyle uh, and uh, enjoy all of that increase in the value of your stock without ever having to pay tax on it. That's why some U.S. lawmakers are floating the idea of a billionaire's tax, one that could pay for trillions of dollars in planned spending. The proposal would target the 700 richest Americans. That's anyone with more than $1 billion in assets or who makes at least $100 million in annual income. I don't want to punish anyone's success. I'm a capitalist. I want everyone to be able to, if they want to be a millionaire or billionaire, to be able to seek their goal. But all I'm asking is... Pay your fair share. Tesla's Elon Musk scoffed at the idea, tweeting, eventually they run out of other people's money and then they come for you. By some estimates, Musk would owe $50 billion over five years if the proposal passed. I think what it does address is what many people feel is a, a pretty important unfairness or inequity in the system. There are, of course, questions about whether such a specific tax would be legal or feasible, which has left the proposal on hold for the moment. But as their fortunes continue to grow, America's richest people will all but certainly face pressure to pay more to reflect how much wealth they've amassed. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.